When did you find out about the picture? Um, I found out a little before it came out, so I had time to brace myself. But even bracing myself didn't work because when it came out, it was worse than I ever thought it would be. You know, it's always a little worse than you think it's going to be. But then that only lasted such a short time before all the good stuff started happening, so I can't complain. Yeah. What did your family you know? say when you first came out? Um, they were pretty shocked, pretty horrified. But as I said, it was only, it was such a short time. It was painful, but short-lived. How long had you been, first of all, Trader Joe's is my jam. Yeah, Trader Joe's oh, is a great place. It's such a great, it's my <laughs> It's a great place to shop, it's a great place to work. It is. They love, and I, yeah. what I love about that store so much is other stores, like, they get you in and out of the line, right? Even like computers checking you out. Yeah. Trader Joe's, you know you're gonna go there, have a great conversation with the cashier. Yeah. It's like family. Is that why you chose Trader Joe's to work I chose there? it because it did have that nice feeling, that great ethos about it. Mm -hmm. I also chose it because I felt like it, it might be a place, and I was right, that would give me some flexibility to try to stay in the business yes. while I was working there. And I actually, Got about four or five television gigs while I worked there the 15 months. It's such an interesting time, especially with what's going on with Bill Cosby. They right. took the show off the air, which breaks my heart because I grew up on it. It right. was. It's sad. How much did that hurt you financially, well, emotionally? A, a bit. I mean, emotionally, I, I just feel sad for everyone involved. Let yeah. me just put it that way. Financially, sure. I mean, um, I got a certain amount of residuals as actors do from shows, and when the show was pulled, that ended. So that didn't help and that was one of the things that contributed to my feeling like I had to take any job to just make ends meet. Then a little bit of bad and then all the good came yeah, flooding in. Yeah. Um, what did it teach you about yourself? It taught me that I was right to hang in there. I was right to have faith. There were a number of times when I wanted to quit the job at Trader Joe's, not because it was a bad job, just because the strangeness of being like that guy, that celebrity recognized guy mm -hmm. in a job like that. Um, but I, held, I hung in there and uh, in fact, if I had quit when I wanted to quit, this whole thing might not have happened. Now you have all these job opportunities. You had a lot thrown at you at first, and I love that you said, no, no, it's not just about a job, it's about the right job. Tell me why the have and have nots was the right job for you. Well, because a very generous, gracious man made a very generous, gracious offer of it to me. Mm -hmm. That's why it was the right job. Yeah. It was a very bold, cool thing Tyler Perry did. And I was glad to accept it, and I've already done that work. You did. It's done already. It's in the can. Um, check the gate, and um, <laughs> uh, it went really well. It was great working with him. Um, does Trader Joe's? Are you still on staff there? I'm not officially, but they were very kind. And when I said I was quitting, they said, "Well, don't quit. Just yeah. consider yourself on indefinite leave of absence," which is really nice. So officially, that's what I am, and you know. I'm, I'm hoping that the acting stuff will continue, of course, because of course. I feel like that is my calling in life mm -hmm. to do that. It but is. hey, if you know, I would go back to Trader Joe's if I had to. One more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell, never miss a video.